and locally communities across our area. They continue to come together, supporting one another while also in solidarity with Israel. Tonight, Jamie Seymour is in Salem as city leaders and neighbors unite and pray during a vigil. Tonight was a chance for the Salem community to come together in prayer and song while also recognizing the devastation. A community coming together, hurting for the hundreds of lives lost in Israel. This is the most Jews that have died in a single day since the Holocaust. From teachings of the Torah to prayers and stories, the prayer vigil at Salem's Chabad Center for Jewish Life served as a space for grief and healing. Tonight really first and foremost is to lean on each other, to be here, show up in solidarity. Secondly is an opportunity for people to come to terms with grief, with the sadness that they're dealing with. Rabbi Avraham Perlstein says many have spent the past few days worried about family members' safety in Israel. Others seeing family members drafted into the army and heading to the front lines. The hardship is, is that the Jewish community is one big family. Even Salem City leaders stepping up to show their support to the Jewish community. Salem is, stands for peace, so I think that it's so important now to try to work together. While condemning the attacks by Hamas militants, many are also recognizing the devastation as civilians on both sides have lost their lives since the conflict began. There doesn't have to be a conflict. Innocent lives, taking innocent lives is wrong. If they are truly innocent, there's wrong. It's not okay. Unfortunately, war is ugly. Oh, shalom. Rabbi Perlstein says despite the tragedies, the community remains strong and united. We're not going to be stopped in our tracks. We need to continue to share a message of hope, continue to share a message of peace. Demonstrations in wake of the attacks will continue this week. Those supporting Palestinians are expected to hold a solidarity rally in downtown Portland Friday afternoon. Reporting in Salem, Jamie Seymour, Coin 6 News.